Subliminal images are Satan's number one weapon on the world and the church. Exposed. Let's take a look at a few subliminal images. A can of Coca-Cola with large beads of sweat on the can that resemble a woman's breast. So you guys can see this can of Coke here. And you can see these beads of sweat that resemble a uh, woman's breast. You can even see these little, the areola area right here, okay, which represents the areola, the nipples, okay? The 99 cent is there on a conscious level to make sure that you get KFC message. So you guys can see the 99 cent here, and this is a conscious message. So that means that you guys can just straight out look at this and see the 99 cents, that you can get this chicken sandwich for just 99 cents. KFC places the message again in the form of a dollar bill in the lettuce. This is on a subconscious level to reinforce their message. So once again, you can see the conscious message here for 99 cents for the chicken sandwich, but KFC wants to make sure you buy this chicken sandwich. So they place this dollar bill in the lettuce here, you guys. You see this little dollar bill here? This is going directly into your subconscious mind. 99% of the population wouldn't even see this dollar bill here, but it's placed here because the KFC knows something that you guys don't know, which is um, once a image is placed in your subconscious mind, it doesn't matter if it's true or false, right or wrong, good or bad, it doesn't matter. Once it's placed in your subconscious mind, the subcon subconscious mind receive it in as truth, as a fact. When you turn the subliminal image on its side, KFC now makes you one with the chicken. So you guys see this subliminal image here of a face of a man? He's got a fried chicken head here. You see that? And I'm going to drop two white dots into the black eye socket so you can bring out his face that much more. There you go. You see this little man here? This is making you one with the chicken. Now you've got to have that chicken. You've got to have that chicken. The KFC just made you one with the chicken. So it wasn't enough that they put the 99 cent here consciously, but subconsciously they put the dollar bill now KFC has fried you guys and has made you one with the chicken. So all you want at this point is chicken. Okay, so we see these um, Dalmatians here and we can see an actual swastika right here. Okay, you see that? And this is promoting racism. Do you see the lady lying across the top of the Coca-Cola can? She has her hair cascading downward over the top of the can. So you guys see this lady up here? She is laying here and she is nude. You can see her head and her hair is cascading downward on the can. This is her shoulder area, her waistline, her hips and her legs and her feet. And she's laying up here in the nude on top of the Coke can. The advertisement reads, it'll blow your mind away. Girls standing there with mouth wide open. Enough said. Do you see the girl? land on the face of the lion. So this is the uh, Lion King's, uh, the Lion King movie. And you can see a subliminal image 
of a woman laying across the face of the Lion King. So you can see her underwear here, and you can see her hair back here. And this is what you're looking at right here, you guys. You see that? And that's the subliminal image of a woman laying across the face of the Lion King. Do you see the naked girl formed from the poured out Bailey's liquor? So um, this lady here, you see her here? And she looks a little bit something like this woman here, but her arms are extended up. You can see her hair back here. This is her face. You can see her breast area, her tummy, her hips, and her long legs, okay? So this is generated through the pouring out of this Bailey's liquor and up pops this naked woman. And as I have always said, and many do know, sex sells everything. James Vickery was a market researcher best known for pioneering the concept of subliminal advertising with an experiment in 1957. James Vickery was able to increase Coca-Cola and popcorn sales in a movie theater by flashing subliminal visuals up on the screen, telling the people in the audience to drink Coca-Cola and eat popcorn. James Vickery claimed that he was able to increase popcorn sales by 58% and Coke sales by 18% the power of subliminal images. Attention! So here you see these are camel cigarettes and here you see a subliminal image of a man that is formed in the um, front leg of this camel. So this has been made dark. Here the camel has been darkened so that you can clearly see the man that is standing here. And he is standing here, here with his manhood at full attention. Once again, you can see it over here. The camel is made, um, well, the, this particular image, the, um, the man is made lighter, so you can see the difference between him and the camel. And you can see the man here, and he is paying, um, he is saluting at this time, at this point, and he is at full attention, and um, camel cigarettes sold a lot of cigarettes because men subconsciously when they saw this image felt like they were, they were going to receive the same power. Three bottles of Heineken beer upside down, but we can all see what it looks like. Bottoms up, and once again, sex sells everything. We can see that this is an upside down bottle. And this looks like the buttocks of a man, and we know exactly what this is. The word sex entwined in a kid's cartoon. So you can see um, this kid's cartoon, Tangled, and this little young lady is has tied this guy up, and she is pulling him to her. But you can clearly see the word sex that they have placed here in a kid's movie. And like you see the S here, you can see the S. You can see the E here. And that's what they have marked out for you to see. And then you can clearly see the X, you see that? And that's what this is. Okay, so this is a subliminal image. And your children are picking this up, you guys. They are picking it up. Marcus Rogers giving glory and honor to the Baphomet. Satan not only work in the world, but he works in the church too. So um, here you have Marcus Roger. I've already told you guys that he is an enemy of the cross, but because he has millions and millions of followers, people think that he's righteous and that he is chosen of God and he is not. Um, what Marcus is holding in his hand is the container that housed the fire 
of the Baphomet. And this is the Baphomet. This is the Baphomet, and the Baphomet is nothing more than a representation of Satan. And this is his container. You see that, you guys? And the container housed the fire of the Baphomet. And this is the container that housed the fire of the Baphomet. And this is exactly what Marcus Rogers is doing. Subliminal images are Satan's number one weapon on the church and the world. Subliminal images is witchcraft. They are a trickery deception that is being played out on humanity. Subliminal images is black magic, a dark technique from the enemy, and it is his secret weapon on society. There are very few places, products, or propagandas that is not laced with subliminals in our world. They are present through images, music, and even smell. Why do you think the powers that be spend billions on them each and every year? You don't spend billions on something that do not work. Obviously, the powers that be, the Illuminati, know something that you do not know. The power of subliminal images. Subliminals are Satan's hidden underworld weapon, hiding in plain sight. Majority of subliminal images are demonic and sexual and are designed to get you to accept Satan as your God. And this is exactly what is going on here in this image with Marcus Rogers. A subliminal image designed to get into your subconscious mind to get you to accept Satan as your God too. This subliminal image of Marcus Rogers is a dark deceptive image that is lying in wait to deceive. Don't look at what Marcus Rogers says, but look at what he does. Okay, you guys, um, I want to go over this picture really quick. Um, this is a demonic subliminal image that Marcus Rogers is 100 percent a part of this is the reason why he is looking the way he's looking if you notice first of all Marcus Rogers eyes they are have slits in them he has snake eyes just like you see this snake here that's the exactly type of eyes he has here he has eyes of a snake they're not round pupils they are like little slits here and this is here purposely because this is going directly into your subconscious mind because Marcus Rogers, the powers that be, the Illuminati want you to receive Satan as your God too. The snake represents who? You got it, Satan. So this is the reason why this man is sitting up here with um, snake eyes, okay? Also, if you notice Marcus Rogers' beard, you see here, you guys, Marcus Roger has a beard. But on the right side of his face, you can clearly see his beard. You can see the hairs of his beard. But look over here on this side, you guys. You don't see that. It's a smooth black surface. And it is there because the powers that be, the Illuminati, are sneaking in a subconscious image on you guys. Okay, you guys see this little black eye socket here? You can see the black eyebrow bone up here. You can see the cheekbone right here. And as it goes around, it goes into the um, jaw area. So if I was to drop an eyeball into there, okay, you see that? And if I was to drop in a pair of mouth here, okay, so what you're looking at here, you guys, is a subliminal image of the Baphomet. Okay, so 
So you can see the Baphomet's left horn. This is the horn here, you guys. You see that? That is the Baphomet's left horn here. And I just drop this eyeball into the already black eyeball um, socket. So I dropped it in there and I put the mouth there so that you guys can get a full um, image of the Baphomet's face. So this is a subliminal image of the Baphomet that the powers that be, the Illuminati, Marcus Roger is very much a part of. And this right here is going directly into your subconscious mind. Had I not brought this out to you guys, majority of you guys would not have seen this. But this image, but your subconscious mind picked it up immediately. Your brain is so marvelously made by the Most High that you guys are able to um, figure this out. So this is a demonic subliminal image placed here by the Illuminati, the powers that be, that Marcus Rogers is 100% on board with. And this is going directly into your subconscious mind. Okay, he says glory to the Lamb. But really, he's saying glory to the Baphomet. People, please understand that the God of this world is the Baphomet, a.k.a. Satan. And he is serious about taking you to hell. And he will use anything and anybody to get you there. Satan is a evil genius. After me breaking down this subliminal image and you still cannot see that Marcus Rogers is an agent of Satan, Satan has not only blinded you from the truth, but he has successfully placed you on the road to hell. When I speak on subliminal images, pointing out the demonic subliminal images of Marcus Rogers, many talk about everything under the sun, but the topic at hand, which is Marcus Rogers' demonic subliminal images. So why do you think they do this? The Bible says, In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Subliminal images are like a cyber attack on your mind. Satan is not after your conscious mind. He has occupied that with so many things. But he is daily hacking his will into your subconscious mind. The Bible says, We are not to be ignorant concerning the devices of the devil. Subliminal images are a dark device of the devil, and you need to know this. The Bible speaks about a type of subliminal image, things that are covered, things that are hidden, things that will be revealed, things that will be made known. The Bible says, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. This is a type of subliminal image. And the Most High brings to light what is hidden and what is covered in subliminal images through a gift. A gift given to some to see subliminal images very quickly and clearly so that they may share it with the body of Christ. 
that they be not ignorant concerning the devices of the enemy. The powers that be are mandated by the Most High to show you what they are doing. And so they do so by subliminal images. The powers that be are not showing you because they want to, but because they have to. They are mandated by the Most High to do so. And this is my gift from the Most High. And so I share it with those that have an ear to listen and eyes to see. So please do not reject this knowledge. It can cause you to perish. All right, take heed. Let no man deceive you. Yahshua loves you. Be blessed.